Are there nude beaches in France? Yes. There okay. are several nude beaches in They're France. Actually, it's okay. actually known to have okay. nude Han Meditations. Hey guys, as you can see, I have all these journals. The link will be in the description. Hello guys, I'm Han. This is Kelly. Hi everyone. We are Han Meditations and we're back with another interesting, exciting video. So let's get right into it. It's no secret. French media has an issue with Islam and Muslims, but it is particularly vehement against hijabis. Le gouvernement actuel ne prend pas la mesure de la gravité de ce qu'est l'islamisme. J'entends, mais vous n'avez pas répondu à ma question sur les signes religieux. Allez-vous changer la loi Moi, je suis contre l'interdiction. Euh, je suis pour l'interdiction du voile dans l'espace public. Je l'ai dit. Je l'ai dit de la manière la plus claire. Je pense que le voile est euh, un, un uniforme imposé par les islamistes. Today, we bring you the story of a sister who silenced the French haters in front of everyone on prime time national TV. Lilia Bouzian, a Muslim lawyer in France, is famous for defending the rights of Muslim women and the religion of Islam without shame, and has been invited on many platforms, either to give her an opportunity to express herself or to trap her. This one time, she was put in front of Damien Rieu, someone who is known to be an anti-Islam Twitter troll and self-proclaimed expert of Islamization, a fictional fear of many French citizens who support the far right. Moi, je, je travaille sur le phénomène de l'islamisation et donc toutes les preuves de cette... Dans les cantines, il y, a, il y a plein de, si vous voulez, de, 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 de symptômes qui montrent une islamisation du pays. Moi, je m'intéresse à ces symptômes et donc euh, lorsque j'en vois, eh bien... Symptoms. The far right activist seems to see Islam as an illness that is spreading in France and considers that it is his duty to expose all the sign of the so-called Islamization online. But Lilia, as a lawyer, does not miss an opportunity and listens carefully to everything her opponent has to say. Well. Je ne dis pas que c'est illégal, je dis que c'est un symptôme de l'islamisation de mon pays. Selon vous, de notre pays, selon vous. Y a oui. pas de, et c'est quoi l'islamisation Et vous, vous êtes le docteur, c'est ça Alors. But Lilia didn't stop there and didn't miss an opportunity to expose the very methods of the hater. Le journaliste qui vous a envoyé cette photo, vous vérifiez pas à chaque fois qui est-ce qui vous envoie la photo. Tant que vous avez à manger, vous le partagez. Écoutez, ça que vous faites. Sur ce... Parce que ça m'étonnerait que tous les journalistes, toutes les photos que vous avez publiées, que ce soit à chaque fois des journalistes qui vous les envoyez. Unstoppable. The Muslim lawyer even uses her knowledge of the law to intellectually beat her opponent to a pulp. Mais, vous, mais vous, vous avez conscience, parce que vous définissez comme un lanceur d'alerte, je me permets de vous rappeler que le lanceur d'alerte, il dénonce des crimes ou des délits. Non. Si, ah si, si. Ah ouais, on sort le code pénal Mais vous savez, moi je vais vous répondre sur euh, l'argument... Non, répondez-moi sur lanceur d'alerte. Vous, vous alertez de quoi Vous êtes un lanceur d'alerte. But all of this is just a warming up. And it is by defending Islam and the Quran that she truly finishes her poem. This story is an example of courage and a lesson for all. Respecting the laws of a country does not mean staying silent in the face of oppression. And it is a lesson we are learning from this Muslim sister. So we mm -hmm. actually did a video similar to this. Remember, Kelly, we were talking about France and the, um, the during, during the Olympics, they weren't allowing people to yes. wear hijabs. And I think that that is just absolutely ridiculous and disgusting that you're going to try and basically just micromanage someone to the point where you're going to tell them what they can have and not have on their head. I mean, how ridiculous is that? That you're basically saying someone can't wear something on their head? What are you even talking about? I mean, now you can't have a hat on your head. You can't have this. You can't have that because they're so scared of God in France. I mean, it truly does seem like just a godless place that you're going to act like you're scared of God and you're scared of religion. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting that you're going to try and sit, point out and basically, you know, uh, stop women from doing what they want and saying women don't have the freedom of choice to basically wear what they want. But I guarantee you, if it comes to something like, you know, a certain laws with women, they'll let them do whatever they want, but you're not going to let them wear something on their head. I mean, it's disgusting and it's actually out of control and ridiculous. And I believe that people should be able to wear whatever the, the heck they want to wear on their head especially whenever it comes to religious terms, because that is their religious choice and their freedom. 
And that is what makes me grateful to actually live in the great country of the United States of America. It's not a perfect country, but you can, I, I promise if you come here, you can wear whatever you want on your head and you can practice whatever religion you want to practice as long as you're not hurting anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty interesting thing how people will say pro woman's choice. Women should be able to do what they want with their body. But if the choice is to wear something to cover your hair, there's all of a sudden these these names getting thrown out. Islamism, Islamization. I really want to know what that even means. Like spreading of Islam. So what? <laughs> yeah, like what? Why are they saying it? Like it's this evil force like it's so strange to me of course this is clips but like i really am generally curious these people using their these terms like what wh what does that mean i really am confused and it's funny i mean and even in christianity there's something called veiling for women where you can have like a kind of a thing on your head a little bit covered up and like the mother mary yeah it's similar to like a look of mary mother mary and women do that girls do that and no one is seeing that as oh no too many christian girls covering their hair this is christianization like it's it's it truly does not make sense to me and arguably i think if we were to ask anyone if this if the hijabi is offensive or whatever they think it is I think the best people to ask would be Muslim women who choose not to wear it, right? Because it really wouldn't affect anyone else. Yeah, it doesn't so, affect you at all. It doesn't matter at all. Yes. And it's just absolutely ridiculous that you're trying to and restrict a woman from doing what she wants in her own body with her own religion. Exactly. So, And then women can literally go out and, and express their beauty or themselves in any way. Women can go out practically naked these days and and it's totally fine or women can become men if they want and have surgery but they can't cover their hair it's the strangest thing in the world to me and i don't understand it i mean well let me let me let me see this for a second are there nude beaches in france Yes, there okay. are several nude beaches. In They're France. Actually, it's okay. actually known that. Okay, nude beaches. so you know, there's nude beaches in France where you can be totally naked, then have the freedom to to have your you know all your parts Whatever out. Whatever you want. Out. But you can't have something to cover up your hair. That makes sense to them. Okay, got it. Make it make so, sense. So you know, thank you guys for watching the video. This kind of stuff really bothers me. But, you know, we got to cover it because people need to know this information. So thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the video. We love you guys with our full heart. Thank you to the people that donate to the channel. We need it more than you realize sometimes. We love you guys so much. And we'll see, see you, you in the, the next, next video. video.